from having created one of the world's fastest bullet trains to humanoid robots and being the world's leader in robotic automation, Japan is undoubtedly living in the future with their advanced technological achievements, which you can even see in various restaurants across the country, some of which are recognized as popular tourist attractions, taking Japanese food to a whole new level at various automated futuristic cafes and restaurants. Here are the top five. Number one, Hidekaya. This ramen chain will surprise each first time customer not only because of the affordability of their delicious dishes, but also because of their automated robot waiters. After selecting your food of choice, your order will arrive at your table safe and fast via your robot waiter. To date, Hidekaya has over 50 restaurant branches across Japan, all of which enjoy the company of their robot waiter employees. Number two is the Pepper Parlor. Thanks to SoftBank Robotics, powered by not just one but four robots, the Pepper Parlor is located at the busy Tokyo Plaza in Shibuya. The name of the cafe, of course, comes from none other than the popular semi-humanoid robot, Pepper. This multilingual robot serves as the waiter, while now robots can entertain customers with their dance moves. The restaurant itself is quite interesting, as other automated robots are tasked with delivering food and cleaning. Number three is the Dawn Avatar Robot Cafe. This cafe is run by robot waiters controlled remotely by persons with disabilities. Yes, and aside from the novelty of what seems to be a robot apocalyptic scenario, Dawn Avatar Robot Cafe aims to champion inclusivity by providing job opportunities to disabled workers. Well, this restaurant's robots are not just automated to serve your food, but also automated to be baristas who can mix drinks, quench your thirst, or provide your caffeine fix. Number four is Janky Sushi, which is the biggest chain of robotic conveyor belt sushi restaurants in the world. With 156 locations in Japan alone and over 200 locations overseas across Asia, Southeast Asia, and the United States. On top of food being delivered to dine-in customers through conveyor belts, they also allow diners to give their orders via a multilingual tablet, which you are also able to see a running tally of how much your meal will cost. Janky Sushi says to make the dining experience more fun, while food is then transported to every table via conveyor belt trains all of which with different design inspirations. Number five, the Henna Cafe. If this name sounds familiar to you, then yes, you are correct that the Henna Cafe is related to the Henna Robot Hotels. The cafe's main attraction is its robot barista, which can make and serve up brewed coffee, lattes, cappuccinos, and hot chocolate to customers. The brewed coffee will only cost you around $3 US, which many say is a bargain to be able to see a robot serve up coffee. To place your order, simply choose your drink and bring the corresponding QR code to the resident robot. Definitely a must-take-advantage attraction while in Japan, especially if you are a guest staying at the Henna Hotel. Brain time. Congratulations. You made it this far in the video. 
What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. Japan is known for having the largest city in the world in terms of urban and metropolitan areas. Tokyo, which is also known to many as the neon lit city, with neon lit dance parties, anime districts, plenty of izakayas, sushi boat restaurants, hot springs, temples, and shrines. While Japan is also the world's leader in robotics and industrial automation. And then there are love hotels. Anonymous, sensual, injected hotels with wild experiences. We should also mention not for the faint of heart. In fact, some of the wildest themed love hotel rooms are located in Japan. So it would only make sense that being the world's leader in robotics and automation, that themed hotels with love dolls and robots as bellmen and front desk agents were commonplace. And in fact, all of the above is nothing out of the ordinary for anyone looking to book a room in Japan. In 2015, founder Hideo Sawada opened the first ever robot staffed hotel, the Henna Hotel in a popular theme park in Nagasaki, Japan. The hotel was so unique in its theme along with humanoid robots and robot dinosaurs that it was given the Guinness World Record for the first robot staffed hotel in the world. The hotel was so successful in its theme that they expanded and built more locations across Japan. To date, there are 20 Henna Hotel locations across Japan, hence the top 20. All following the same theme as the very first location in Nagasaki, with humanoid robots and robot dinosaurs as the staff. Nowadays, the Henna Hotel brand is known for evolution in design and technology. In fact, the brand's hotels are somewhat of monuments or must-see attractions when visiting Japan. So much so that Americans had to have one of their own as well. And in fact, in October of 2021, the first Henna Hotel outside of Japan opened its doors near 8th Avenue in New York City. And for guests staying at the hotel, with no surprise from the hotel's brand, guests are greeted by a robot dinosaur Tyrannosaurus Rex in the front lobby. Throughout the hotel, you will find plenty of nifty gadgets and gizmos around your stay. But surprisingly, nothing too overbearing as you will find the rooms are actually quite modern, peaceful, clean, and luxurious. So I guess that's actually the top 21, and not top 20 robot hotels in Japan, or from Japan, if you count the chains outside of Japan. Anyways, just another day from the world's leader in robotics and automation. Welcome. Welcome to the Hanyang Hotel. Some people say that flying first class is the best experience anybody can have while others say it's definitely the most comforting experience you can have on an airplane 35,000 feet above the ground. 
And so when we think about robots in the sky, most often it's probably recalling some sci-fi anime manga or film. But actually, in fact, that notion of robots in the sky being related to anything sci-fi or paranormal or superhuman is kind of outdated. Because living in the year 2023 with supersonic boom jets that are able to fly from Vancouver to Sydney in less than 5 hours and giant airliners like the Airbus A380 which even has a shower on board a commercial airline for first class passengers then the idea of humanoid robots on a commercial airplane shouldn't be so far off. In fact Huge aviation groups like the Airbus Group have teamed up with Robotics Laboratory to launch a new joint research program that aims to develop humanoid robots that will be used for aviation manufacturing. The project is called Comanoid, which stands for Multi-Contact Collaborative Humanoids. By combining Japanese expertise in hardware and robotics, along with advanced French knowledge of mathematics and algorithms, the joint venture encourages initial progress in fields such as robot design and haptics, as well as tactile perception and continuous KDAR. The team spoke and said building on these achievements would develop multi-contact locomotion, which enables humanoid robots to move using not just their feet, but also other body parts such as elbows, knees, and hands as a human would when crawling. A new breed of humanoid robots. While in South Korea, a company called Case have gone beyond the research of developing unmanned aircrafts to testing humanoid robots designed to operate a regular aircraft by sitting in the pilot's seat and using controls just like a human would. But all of this is just boring, to be honest. What if we could have humanoid human-like female robots with giant boobs be our flight attendants or have personal companion robots in first class. But if so, then you would probably want to exercise some caution around the private onboard shower on the Airbus A380. Otherwise, you could maybe find yourself being electrocuted on an airplane. Probably not the steamy electrical scenario you were hoping for. Because they're robots, right?